Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Reacts and this is American F-35 has just landed on a highway 100 miles from Russia. What? Okay, what the hell? This is like September 4th. It's one of the 10 days ago, so new newish news. Two Air Force F-35As. Okay, you could have used F-35Bs and just flex, not not landed, just like dropped or some shit like that. There you go. But yeah, from 493rd Fighter Squadron. Why? I guess it's to like flex in Finland, is what you're saying, right? Like, uh, so Finland is part of like NATO now, so yeah, exercise and shit is gonna happen. I guess US is gonna play a mind games a lot, so Russia doesn't do more than Ukraine type of way, so we're gonna see that a lot. I guess this is what that is, but who knows? Let's watch this one. Remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe so that way I know which videos to react to more. Uh, you know, this Sandbox is a great channel. You know, like, is like one of the experts or something because a lot of big channels also talk about him, like how uh, he's great source and he knows people. So it's very interesting whenever like a notification pops up from this channel. So yeah, let's do this one. The U.S. Air Force just successfully proved that they can operate their Runway Queen F-35s from highways in Finland, just about 100 miles from the Russian border. On September 4th, just two days ago as I record this, two U.S. Air Force F-35As landed on a highway in Hasoi, Finland, about 118 miles from Russia. They then refueled, turned around, and got back in the air, participating in air combat exercises alongside fighters from Finland and Germany. Now, this is a huge deal for a number of reasons. Number one, it's the first time an American fifth generation fighter has operated from highways in Europe, though not the first time F-35s have operated from highways by any stretch of the imagination, though usually it would be the short takeoff vertical landing F-35B selected for the job. The F-35A is the version of this fighter designed specifically for runway operations, and it usually needs a good 8,000 foot well manicured runway to take off and land. That's about two and a half kilometers worth. But to land on a highway in Finland, they had to cut that down by about 25%. These two F 35As out of the 490. What, they don't have longer highways? Like, why did you need to do that? Yeah, F 35s are like smaller, right? So it's like really good in that way you can land it. But yeah, American interstate system is made so a plane can basically drop the any plane basically, not just fighter pilots, like big plane as well. So that's no issue there. Same thing, the same thing with German Autobahn. That's what interstate system is based on. But Finland, I guess that's interesting because Finland might not have like big highways or something. But yeah, of course it does, right? Uh, you know, European Union, like certain codes have to be met. So yeah, highways are going to be bigger. So why couldn't they find a longer runway to dro uh, drop, I guess? Yeah, okay, I guess in Europe, like, the straight roads are, like, gonna be rare, tons and shit, like, inclines and things, I don't know. But yeah, F-35B is easy, it's like, F-35A is, like, where there's, like, propeller supposed to be, I guess they can put now more fuel in there, so long distance thing. The third fighter squadron took off from RAF Lincoln Heath, about 80 miles north of London in the UK. They then flew about 1,300 miles to Finland, where they landed on a rural stretch of highway just 6,000 feet long and only about 90 feet wide, where they were joined by other fighters from the German Air Force and, of course, some highway landing experts from Finland. You see, operating off of highways is pretty standard fare for the Finnish Air Force, who currently operate pretty dated F-A-18 Hornets, though the Hornet is pretty well suited for austere operations. After all, if you can handle carrier landings, you can handle just about anything. But Finland joined... Is F-18 that outdated? America still using that for the aircraft carriers, like aren't they? Like you know, Pacific and a lot of places, right? They use still F-18s, even though they're trying to replace that with F-35s and things, right? So yeah, F-35B should replace F-18s on aircraft carriers and things. NATO just last year in 2023 in response to the Russian invasion of Ukraine, and they have since placed an order 
for 64 Block 4 upgraded F-35As. Now, the Block 4 F-35 has yet to emerge, but it comes with a long list of upgrades. In fact, it's set to be so much better than today's F-35s that I've contended it might even warrant its own designation. And Finland choosing to buy 64 of these f You kidding me? So a newer update of F-35 is that good? That's better than the actual... I mean... In order to have your own designation, you have to be mechanically really different. Like, how much are the updates is changing that level? Is it changing mechanically how it works, aerodynamically how it works? Like, most of these electronics, that's what the modern F-22 and F-35s are, right? People say, like, difference between F-16 and F-22 when it comes to, like, nimble dogfighter plane, air dominance plane, it is F-22 is insanely stable because of the electronics and fly-by-wire shit, right? So F-35 is like, is that that different than your updates? So is that good? Sandbox should made a make a video about that. I love engineering aspect of planes, and he should definitely make a video about that, like what makes it so good. F-35As to replace their Hornet fleet means they aim to operate these stealth fighters from highways, just like they often do with their Hornets. Now, this is nothing new for the U.S. Air Force either, or even the Marine Corps for that matter, who have been conducting ACE operations, or Agile Combat Employment Operations, for years now. The idea is to distribute your aircraft to a much wider variety of runways and austere airstrips to make it much more difficult to target them while they're on the ground. And to do that, you set up what's usually called a FARP, for forward arming and refueling point. Now, setting up a FARP basically amounts to sending out vehicles, equipment, and personnel ahead of the landing fighters, who can be pre-positioned to very quickly refuel and rearm those aircraft to get them back into the air and back into the fight. And while the United States has demonstrated its ability to do this with everything from C-130 cargo planes to F-35 stealth fighters in recent years, there's a very reasonable argument to be made that no one is better at these sorts of operations than the fighter pilots out of Finland and Sweden, who have been operating alone and unafraid on the Russian border for decades now and have only recently joined the NATO alliance because of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And this all amounts to a very big problem for Russia, because by my most recent count, Finland has used at least 20 different stretches of highway for these sorts of ace operations in just the past few years. And Sweden has used more than 41. That is a lot of extra targets to worry about. Oh, that is so epic. So if the war breaks out between these countries, NATO fights, now you have Sweden and Finland, combination of like 60 plus highways, that might as well be airports, might as well be air landing, where, where basically they can just like hide uh, with this equipment, refueling equipment, and the plane can just drop and suddenly refuel, like before anybody knows, like they are in the air again, like how are you going to target that? Usually you take out like, uh, you know, like airports, you know, like shit like that, or, you know, very key important places. But when like your roads are your airports, like 60 plus of them, how the fuck are you going to target all of them? And what you're going to do like, and he said highways. So it doesn't mean like just a single point of that highway. On those big stretches of highway, any point could be, a, you know, like a, a, a runway type thing, like two, three kilometers of it, right? A highway, let's just say it's like a hundred miles, like... Potentially, there might be 10 different points of this highway you can use for landing, and there are like 60 plus of them. There is some insane thing, and yeah, obviously, Finland and Sweden being like really good at that makes sense, knowing how they work, right? How Finnish are. So, that is some insane thing, right? So, this Ukraine war caused Finland to join NATO, right? That, that, that's, that must have like. That feels like a big blunder from Russia's diplomatic side, right? Russia should have seen that coming. And it, it feels like, like Finland joining NATO might be a big, really big ripple effect for Russia, right? But then again, Russia probably is not planning to have to do with anything with NATO, right? There was a very recent interview where Putin said, have you people lost your mind? Russia fighting NATO, that, that would never happen type of way, right? Because NATO is so big and powerful. So maybe Putin never planned to like fight anything related to NATO and Ukraine was the only objective because I saw the video about like how lithium and like a gas deposit and shit like that, right? I don't know. But yeah, this is interesting. Like, I'm, you know, F-35 is flexing there, like that, that close to Russia, that, that's first. 
All right, well, uh, if you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you haven't seen other reactions I did from Sandbox and other channel, Haskin Purpose and things like that, check out the end card right now. Check out the link in the description. And yeah, comment down if you want to do any specific reaction. And I'll see you next time.